Cyberpunk 2077 might not be done with new content in 2022 just yet. Yes, its first and only expansion yet will only drop next year, but it seems that CD Projekt Red does still have something planned in terms of free DLCs for 2022, so we're gonna talk about that, expansion plans and more in this video. But I'm super excited to say that today's video has been brought to you thanks to Nvidia and Alienware who were kind enough to send me a brand new Alienware X15 gaming laptop. Nvidia's RDX 30 series GPUs power up the world's fastest laptops and the X15 makes no exception. One of the benefits of owning a second gen RDX device is also the ray tracing performance. Not only do you get to play on a device that looks out of this world, but your gameplay will also be more immersive than ever. Ray tracing really makes the entire game pop as it simulates the lights and the shadows just like in the real world. And if you worry about any frame drops, you can always boost up your device performance with with the NVIDIA AI trained DLSS technology without compromising image quality. Recently though, NVIDIA unveiled their new Reflex technology that measures and reduces your system's latency in competitive online games, allowing your PC to respond faster to your mouse and keyboard inputs. So if you're also looking to power up your gaming setup to the next level, check out NVIDIA's Reflex download links below and save up to 30% on Alienware's RDX 30 series laptops for a limited time using my links in the description. Now, as per usual, the information doesn't come directly from CD Projekt Red's main accounts, but actually from an unintentional leak, and I'm tempted to believe it 100% because it comes from none other than Paul Sesco, which in his latest streams had this very interesting link pinned in his bookmark menu in the main browser he was using, mentioning DLC 4 gigs. Of course, also quite a lot of them about the first episode of Likely Cyberpunk 2077, so likely the work being done on the first expansion that will drop in 2023. Now, of course, this doesn't fully confirm when this DLC will get released, but it seems that it is going to be again gig oriented. And if you are familiar with these, or if you played Cyberpunk, which I think you did if you're watching this video, well, these are kind of like small bite types of free content that CD Projekt Red is kind of putting out every now and then, which involves involve you doing a small little mission that takes anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes, giving you an extra reward, some, well, lore elements in there too, maybe a new couple of characters too, and that's pretty much it. Of course, it doesn't confirm that the DLC 4 will only contain gigs, it could very well contain something else as well. So far, we've had DLCs and content drops that contained multiple, well, content types at the same time, including gigs free cars, free in-game items, and that kind of stuff. Now, this comes as an important piece of information, as recently the CD Projekt Group has highlighted their plans for 2022 and onwards, specifically the fact that both further support and development work for Cyberpunk 2077 and its first expansion are in full force. We still did not get that Witcher 3 next-gen upgrade yet, and I fear that at this point it took a little bit too long, it might just be stuck in some kind of development hell, but it seems that, yeah, CD Projekt Red is still allocating resources to it, and it's definitely coming at some point. But most important, yeah, they also allocated a lot more resources towards Witcher 4, which they've taken in a very interesting direction, so more on that in just a little bit. In the meantime, here was a graph of how the teams were allocated towards different projects, and specifically the last one, right there in 2022 kind of stood out a little bit because at first it made it seem as if Cyberpunk 2077 would be, well, the smallest of the projects, at least in terms of team allocations. Well, later CD Projekt Red came in and clarified that that was just an error in the legend of the chart which presented the team allocations wrong for 2021 and onwards. Obviously, that was recalled and here is the new graph which obviously shows a lot more in terms of cyberpunk expansion with that cyan color right there. So yeah, most of the workforce and CD Projekt Red is heavily engaged 
engaging in that cyberpunk expansion coming in 2023 and also there's still a bit of support for cyberpunk 2077 plus next gen version probably that dlc for gig as well so there's still hope that there is some kind of content coming up in 2022 what's more interesting though is as per the latest announcement cd project red has also moved completely from their proprietary red engine which was used both in cyberpunk 2077 and the previous witcher game to using unreal engine 5 for the upcoming witcher 4 or whatever its name is going to be so according to the company's art director the decision was made in light of the multitude of features solutions already in place and possibility to allow the teams to try out new stuff when talking about using unreal engine 5 for witcher 4 it seems that city project red is definitely getting excited about what the engine transition could bring to the witcher series and honestly it also gets me a bit hyped about the game to see exactly what they had in mind with the cool new stuff they want to try out so hopefully it's going to revolutionize open world games in a way because i think they've been kind of getting a bit stale in the meantime we already saw that Elden ring kind of pulled bits it did amazingly well and even though it didn't like fully revolutionize anything in terms of open world exploration it definitely used that souls formula of having a lot of content a lot of bosses a lot of encounters hidden in a lot of places which you know what it's been what almost two months since the game came out and there's still a ton of people playing very good retention for a single player game and i think that there's a lot to learn for any company that's bringing out any rpg open world games of that sort and speaking of Elden Ring's success, it seems that it also sold 12 million copies within the first three weeks. It seems to be quite close to the 13.7 million copies that Cyberpunk 2077 sold in its first three weeks back in December of 2020, which by the way, since then has climbed to 18 million copies. So can you imagine what would have happened if Cyberpunk 2077 came out in a proper state with just about half of the content that Elden Ring already has? I'm pretty sure they could have like like top 20 very easily but you know what at least we have Elden Ring and we'll probably find out how those numbers will look like in no time anyway on a final note the cyberpunk edgerunners anime spin-off original series that's coming on Netflix this year also had a small slider during CDPR's presentation reconfirming that it is indeed getting launched in 2022 though no specific date was given and I'm inclined to believe that this might have have something to do with that DLC for gigs that uh, well was just accidentally leaked I've already mentioned this when I talked about it like a few months back that there's no way in hell that City Project Red isn't going to time some kind of free DLC or some kind of free content in the game to align with the launch of the anime obviously to draw more attention to both the game and the series and kind of like have everything mixed totally of course let me know down below what is your opinion on all of this are you still excited for cyberpunk i know we haven't talked about it in a long while and i kind of wanted to bring this update to you guys so yeah just let me know what's your opinion down below and i'll see you guys in the next one